an island state with an interesting terrain and a rich history. Taiwan offers a fusion of all there is to love about Asia. Its culture, well preserved and celebrated, brings around 10 million tourists from around the world to the country. Their goal? To take in the sights, enjoy the exciting cuisine, and learn a little bit more about the traditions that the Taiwanese have kept alive for hundreds of years. What's interesting about Taiwan is, despite having one of the wealthiest economies in Asia and being a global player in industrial manufacturing and technology, its culture is still very much intact. Its streets alone offer proof of soul. On the seventh lunar month, August, the Taiwanese celebrate Keelun Ghost Festival, one of the oldest festivals in Taiwan, dating back to 1851. It is believed that on this month, spirits are free to roam among the living, and every day of the month, people perform different rituals for the spirits to protect the living from suffering in the afterlife. On the 14th day, a huge parade of colorfully lit floats is held in the port city of Kilong to mark the release of water lanterns, a peace offering to the spirits of the drowned. Ominous as it may sound, the Keelan Ghost Festival is a celebratory affair, attended by every member of every family from the city, tourists and even the president. Over the years, it has become more than just a requisite for honoring tradition, also a way to bring the community together, generation after generation. Far from festive streets of Keelung is a grandiose, permanent display of history and culture at National Palace Museum in Taiwan's capital, Taipei. Holding over 700,000 pieces of artifacts and art, giving over 4 million annual visitors a glimpse of imperial life. It is best known for the jadeite cabbage and meat-shaped stone, a delectable tandem of Taiwanese cuisine preserved for eternity, much to the marvel of new generations and tourists. Although both are surprisingly tiny, the two are the museum's most popular attractions. The jadeite cabbage, carved from a single piece of green and white jade, looks like real bok choy symbolizing purity and fertility. It was originally housed in Beijing's Forbidden City and is said to have belonged to a consort of the Guangzhou Emperor. A few steps from the jade cabbage is another crowd-drawing piece, the meat-shaped stone, a piece of jasper carved to look like a piece of pork. Who created these pieces and why? No one knows for sure, but one thing's for certain, these two belong together, whether as sculptures or edible dishes. In fact, the museum restaurant, Silk's Palace, serves a special multi-course menu that includes replicas of the works of art, capturing color, shape, and size of the jade and jasper sculptures. The Presidential Office Building, which is also in Taipei, hosts a permanent exhibition titled Power to the People, showing how the edifice itself bore witness to history and tackling the architecture as well as its many inhabitants through the years. Meanwhile, in Nantau County, a three-hour drive from the capital, is a staggering 62-hectare theme park on traditional Taiwanese tribal life. Formosan Aboriginal Culture Theme Park, which was opened in 1986, is divided into three areas. 
the Aboriginal Village Park, the Amusement Isle, and the European Garden. Visitors who want to find out more about Taiwan's roots can explore the Aboriginal Village Park, which is the largest outdoor museum in Taiwan, composed of nine tribal villages reconstructed from anthropologists' blueprints. The village employs Taiwanese Aborigines. These are performances, music shows, handicrafts and guided tours. It's also the best place in Taiwan to experience cherry blossom season, which is between February and March. A glass-bottomed cable car ride away is dreamy Sun Moon Lake, the largest body of water in Taiwan, named as such because the east side resembles a sun, while its west side resembles a crescent moon. According to legend, hunters from the Tao tribe who followed a mysterious white deer discovered the lake. The area is home to the Tao tribe to this day. However, the lake itself is actually man-made after a dam construction during the Japanese occupation. Still, this doesn't take away from the Sun Moon Lake's dreamy, near-mystical atmosphere. Visitors can enjoy a boat ride tour of the lake. Or take in the scenery by riding around the many cycle paths. A short drive from Sun Moon Lake will take you to Hugo Sam Black Tea Garden in a quiet spot that's perfect for enjoying a cup of tea in the land of tea, Taiwan. It is said that the first seed of tea was brought to the country through a walking stick in the Japanese period. Asam is the signature tea of the entire Sun Moon Lake area. And at Hugo Sam, guests are guided through the process of making the tea. Color is green. With a hat and a basket, guests will be guided to the garden to learn about harvesting the buds and tips of the tea plant. The next step is rolling the leaves over a straw basket. In gentle, circular motions until the leaves are withered. The withered leaves are then put in an oven to dry. <laughs> Taiwan is a place where traditional and new coexist in harmony. From gathering youth ambassadors under the Taiwan International Youth Ambassador Taiwan Program to promote Taiwan travel, culture, work and education to other countries to allowing tourists to explore their unique innovations. An unlikely but worthwhile destination for a traveler or anyone who wants to learn more about the country is Tsuchi Recycling Station in northern Taiwan, which offers educational tours to curious minds of all ages. More than a recycling center where plastic and paper waste products are sorted and condensed for processing, 
The foundation is also a place where the elderly, all of whom are volunteers, can spend their day and remain active members of society. The Buddhist Foundation is the biggest recycling education center in Taiwan, with 1,000 volunteers and 6,000 locations. New products are developed from the recycled plastics. From garments and shoes to construction materials that are donated to disaster relief programs around the world. Perhaps the ultimate of all of Taiwan's man-made wonders is Taipei 101, which gets over 15 million visitors a year and receives almost 12,000 people daily. Taipei 101 Mall is found on the lower floors and has a collection of luxury brands. Inside the building are three Michelin-starred restaurants, including a branch of Taiwan's own Din Tai Fung, which is famous for its Chao Long Bao. But more than just a tourist attraction, it's one of the busiest buildings in the country and a beacon of Taiwan. 508 meters. It is the largest LEED certified green building in the world. It's also the only building that allows guests to see its giant tune mass damper, the largest in the world, which offsets movements caused by winds and tremors. It also has one of the world's fastest elevators which takes guests to 460 meters above sea level to the 91st floor at 60 kilometers per hour. This is where guests can take a 360 degree walk around the building and see all of Taiwan. Worth visiting more than once. Taiwan is a country that merges tradition and innovation seamlessly. It's a destination that has something to offer to every type of traveler. From tradition honoring festivals, to marvels of modern architecture, to street food and fine dining cuisine that is as diverse as its culture and as rich as its history.